What's up everyone? Chris with B Minus Demos here, and today we're checking out the Space Bender from Death by Audio. Before we get into all that, if you're new here, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. You know, like you guys are awesome for watching these videos, uh, and I genuinely appreciate it. If you haven't already, please do the regular YouTube stuff, subscribe to the channel, it helps a lot, I, it means a lot to me, I genuinely appreciate it. Subscribe, like the video, share the video, uh, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment below, and let me know if you're watching uh, this year's NHL playoffs. The Space Bender is basically a modulation pedal, but it's like if M. Night Shyamalan made a modulation pedal. Like, you're messing with all the knobs and the switches and you think you understand what's going on and then you turn one and you're like, whoa, was not expecting that at all. This pedal is so much fun. I'm going to read off their website here because there's no way I would actually remember all of this. But you have speed, which controls the speed of the LFO, the sensitivity of the envelope, and the time of the delays. This is a really cool modulation because you have kind of a chorus, flanger, delay thing happening all at the same time. Uh, depth controls the depth of the envelope, or the LFO, as well as the feedback of the delays. Uh, delay time sets the overall time range from short. And this is where the rocker switches come in. So you've got short or long. The modulator sets the main source of modulation for the delay line. You have the intensity, which sets the overall intensity of the effect. High intensity settings create these like really wild kind of oscillating sounds. It's so cool. And you have an internal gain uh, that I don't touch at all in this video. This pedal is super fun. You're going to hear it by itself some. And then you're also going to hear me throw in uh, the Smearmore Effect Saule, uh, which I did a demo on last week. And I'm also going to add to it this uh, Borealis by Noisemaker Effects. This is kind of a delay, reverb, ambient kind of mix thing, and it sounds so cool with this. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get into these sounds. <laughs>
There you go. That was the Space Bender. I had no idea what to expect when I got this in. This is another pedal that I got through Buyer Borrow, which is like a monthly subscription thing where you get to kind of try out pedals for 30 days or more at a time. Uh, and I just picked this because it was by Death by Audio, and it said it was a modulator. And I love what they do with pedals. They, they make these wild uh, pedals that honestly can sometimes reach these unusable rates, but in like a really, really fun way. Uh, and so I was really psyched to get this in. Space Bender is a lot of fun. Like I said, it's chorus, flanger, delay, all kind of rolled into one. You have your knobs that you can go back and forth with, as you saw, and then those rocker switches can have very, very dramatic effects on the sound. It's so cool. If you add to that this some sort of delay that has almost this like self-oscillation to it with some reverb and stuff like I did with the Borealis, you get like these amazing textures and you get this really wide canvas of sounds and you, you just, it's not something that you're expecting. Anyhow, listen, that was it. Thank you so much for stopping by to hang out with me today. I've got some cool stuff coming up, so please subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, and, and check in with me often. And listen, I hope everyone has like such a rad week. Later.